What is good, y'all? It is Zach with Inbird Kicks. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. We are at our Indiana location right now, and it is our last day. So we kind of have a bunch of things in the works. We moved into this location knowing that it might not be the best. It's kind of a, it's another campus location, kind of like the Illinois store. Um, and it's just kind of a different clientele around here. So it's like there wasn't as much love for the shoe game in this part of Indiana. So numbers just really weren't doing that good. It wasn't as worth it. And we have a bigger and better opportunity um, coming for the whatnot section. So me and the team over here, we're moving out to Texas. So we're taking the whatnot and the online business out there. Um, there's just, there's a big shoe market out there. There's a lot of shoe stores, a lot of resellers, just a lot of shoes in that area. So it'll be a lot easier to buy shoes, get used shoes for the whatnot. So um, we're moving out there and we're doing that in the next month. And once we move out there, we're basically hoping to be live literally five to six days a week on whatnot. We're literally gonna be going as crazy as possible, selling as many shoes as possible. So we're just trying to take that to the next stage. And the Illinois is still staying open. Don't worry about that. Tony and the crew said they're, they got to stay going open. Anywhere. That's that's still uh, that's that store. Base. That store is still doing good. That's home base. So that's uh, we even got some things in the work for over there. We've got a lot of stuff planned for that as well. Um, like we said, so not every not every business venture is always good. But we kind of uh, knew going into this space that it was kind of like a hit or miss, and so we took our chance, and it wasn't that good. But uh, that's fine. And like I said, we have a bigger and better plan for at least us guys over here moving to Texas, so that'll be good. But as you guys can kind of see now, the store is super, super bare. We had a bunch of shoes, a bunch of Supreme accessories all up. It was, it's a really nice space, so it's sad that it didn't work out because, I mean, me and Tony talk about this all the time. We wish we had this space in Champaign because it's like probably twice as big of a front storefront as we have there. And just so much more, I mean, shelf space. It's just a really, really nice modern look to it. Um, so yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely a sad day to see it go. It's a good day too, knowing just uh, kind of what we have in the future for the champagne store, for what non the online business that we have, that we're gonna be moving to Texas. So uh, yeah, I think we're on to bigger and better things. It was, it was cool being here for a year, just got some good experiences, but uh, yeah, we're chopping this up and we're throwing it out the door. So I guess as y'all can see, we kind of just have all the inventory kind of laying around everywhere. We went through and inventoried all of it and there's actually a dude coming to buy literally all the shoes in here tonight. We're gonna go like this, it's six to 900. Let's give away, let's give away a hundred bucks. If you can guess the right amount of shoes that we are selling to this bulk buyer tonight, I'll say it's anywhere from 600 to 900 pairs. Go ahead and guess it. We'll be giving away a hundred bucks. We'll do the closest guess, we'll do a hundred dollar cash app, Venmo, PayPal, Bitcoin, or you can get a hundred dollars in store credit, whatever you wanna do, or even a hundred dollars off whatnot. So, I guess if you win, you can get $100 off in so many different ways. So, uh, but yeah, we'll do that. Um, like I said, anywhere from six to 100, but, or I guess Tony could show you all the boxes right now and you could even count them right now. So mm -hmm. there's just kind of pairs on tables, pairs on the floor. And there's just a bunch of, I mean, we got anywhere from Dunks to Travis Scott's to Off-Whites in here to Amaz, um, you know, just a bunch of random store stuff. And there's a Travis four right here. This is a size 14, Travis Scott four. Obviously everything in here is brand new. We didn't have any, we didn't have any used pairs in here. All the used pairs we got in here strictly went on whatnot. So we would let those pile up for like a week or two and then we'd go ahead and just sell them on whatnot. So everything that we have in here currently is brand new. Yeah. This is a great five, 2013. These go for a lot actually. These went up a ton in the past couple of years. Travis Scott, the OG pair, brand spanking new. Funny story about these. Uh, me and Isaac, we were selling a pair on whatnot. This was, I think a year and a half ago. We were, we were pulling up the price to show what it went for. And uh, Isaac was, uh, he was like, hey guys, this is what they go for on StockX. And as he was showing, he accidentally hit the buy now button and he bought it for push button on StockX. So he paid, bro, he paid so much. Like we have him at 2,400. I'm pretty sure we paid more than that. So we got a True Blue 3 in here, replacement box, brand new. They were size 14. Uh, got a pair of OVO 12s on the bottom too. You don't really see these very often. The box is a little, a little brown. Oh, the, I'm tripping. These are the 10s. Cut that out. I did not say 12s. <laughs> OVO 10s. I wish they were the 12s. These are terrible. These are cool, too. It's a Kyrie 5 Mama mentality. This is a crazy pair. You really never see the these. These go for too. a lot of money. These go for like a 1,000 or something like Eight. that or five. I don't know. Now it's a bigger size. Hooper size. 14. Um, Right there. I know the boxes, foam runners. All those over there. Everybody's over Jordan 1, so I don't I don't know what yeah, you think, Tony. Dead. I mean, bro, the hype of Jordan 1s is dead. I feel like the only pairs people are really buying anymore 
I like lost and found. Yeah. People still like the UNC colorways, but yeah, like all even those other even like the patent breads, like even even these bad boys, like bro, when these first came out, these were at like 400 bucks. What were we selling pairs for when they first came 350, out? 350, 450, somewhere around there. I mean, bro, we, I think like we got early pairs where we sell them at 500. I think so. But I mean, the fact that a bread Jordan 1, I mean, they're sitting at like a size 9 is at like 200. Two, yeah, at most. 200 at most. Like I get, I barely sell used pairs for like 100 bucks anymore. It's, it's actually insane. So to see like a bread colorway like this, especially even a patent colorway, just go for that amount of money is crazy. So. I don't know, I'm pretty sure pretty sure people are just over Jordan 1s. I feel like they've dropped so many colorways and they're just kind of over it. Um, even just like the heritage, like the heritage is not a bad colorway. Yeah. I just, I don't, people I'm like this it. is a great colorway yeah. too. Like back in the day, if these would have dropped like three, four years ago, these would have been going, like the material, mm -hmm. the qualities I mean, the leather is. That would have been like a seven, $700 shoe. Maybe not, okay, so, whoa, seven is a stretch. Bro, that's what they used to go seven for. Is a seven is a stretch. I would say at Five, least like. 500. Okay, me and Tony are maybe agree to disagree. Maybe like, <laughs> maybe like, maybe like 350. I don't, bro. Okay, Jordan but they're going smack. for like 150, yeah, 160. That's what I'm saying. Bullshit. At least like 250 resale. Right. They're not, they don't have any resale. They don't have any. So, uh, and then we got this is another. Bro, that bricked harder than I don't even know what. These are Fear 3. They're at like 140, 150. That is insane. The OG, the the, fear, the OG pair is, was at like 500, yeah. 600 before they dropped. right before they came out used for like 140. No, that I remember. And that was a steal and we sold it for like 250. Then they come out, I don't even, when we sell new pairs on whatnot. Oh, shit. my bad, man. Uh, my bad. All right, uh, when we sell new pairs on whatnot, I don't even, I sometimes sell them for like 120. So after fees, I get like a hundred bucks. That is crazy. That's wild. And used for pairs, used pairs, they sell for like 90. Like that is, that's insane. Uh, we got a pair of Amaw fours. These don't even go too crazy Dude, anymore either. They're like 300. What are they at, like 300? That's below like an Oreo four, yeah. a military four. So yeah, I don't. I don't know if the Jordan 4 hype is dead too. Those it's new, about, uh, it's about to be, bro. those new vivid yellow pair, is that what it is? Those are at yeah, like what, like 160? 160? Yeah. They were so, lower than retail before they came out. So I don't know if the hype is just dead. I don't know if they're making too many pairs. I don't know. Like a little bit of both. I think a lot of people just don't have money like they did anymore either. Yep. But even just the fact that stuff is going for so, like so much below retail is all, like I don't know how people are selling them for that. Like people are selling dunks for like, 60, 70 bucks on whatnot. It makes no sense. Like there, I mean, you're, there's no, you're losing like 50 bucks right off the bat if you're buying it for retail. Um, so over here, uh, I don't know if we have anything too crazy right here. Mm -hmm. This is a cool pair, I feel like you never see. The Barcelona Lowe's, the fives. Oh, those That's are cool. fire, not, all reflective. Whoa, no, I'm tripping. Neymar's. Cut that out, Neymar fives, mm -hmm. Neymar fives. I used to want those. No, these are crazy. I see bottoms, everything. It's a cool shoe. Um, so yeah, those are cool. I don't know. Dude, like even the Craft 4s, that's a good one. And even the, for anything. the Olive Crafts? Yeah. Yeah, the Olive Crafts, those go for what? Like 180? 180, I think. 170, something like that. Uh, the Infrared 4s are actually going, they're at like 320 now. So for those real? are, you know, yeah, they, they went up. I was just looking at that the other day. So hmm. I think stuff is slowly like, yeah, after like, it takes time. it's been taking time, but it's just definitely not like it was. Yeah. Um, what's another one that, yeah, all the fours is crazy. That's a super nice shoe. That shoe came out three years ago. That's a hundred percent of $350 Jordan yeah. four, hundred percent. So we had a lot of GRs in here. We didn't have, and that's the thing. A lot of the GRs we put in here, they didn't sell. So this was like, when you're going to a specific place as a business owner, you have to know your clientele. We probably should have asked around a little bit. This is not, this is not like an area where we could have sold GRs. We didn't really sell a lot of retro. So no Jordan sixes, no Jordan fives. No Jordan 12s were selling, stuff like that. It was mainly like Dunks, Jordan 1 Lows. Um, we were selling Yeezys. But yeah, just a lot of the GRs weren't selling anymore. But I guess even Champagne's yeah, that like the same thing. I think thing. all GRs are just slowing down because everybody knows that they don't really go for anything. They don't go anything and they they're sitting- They colorway every week. And they're sitting for retail too. Yeah. So the thing is, for a lot of resale stores, if you're not, if your local finish line Foot Locker isn't selling out, yeah. of your GRs. I mean, how are you supposed to sell them for resale? You literally can't. So like I was saying, if stuff is sitting in Dick's and sitting in Foot Locker Finish Line JD Sports and it's not selling out, it's really almost impossible for resale stores to get exactly. it and make money. Unless, the only way now is that we're able to sometimes get it below retail and then we can sell it for retail. So I feel like that's, but even then, it's yeah. still not even selling like that. 
like New Balances and Asics. That's what we're selling now. No, the New Balance, that is that is one thing that's, and we didn't have any of that in here, but the New Balances, the New Balances, the Asics, the Vimeros, just like everybody's kind of like that comfy, neutral stage yeah, where you wave. can wear it literally with sweatpants or you can wear it with shorts or you can wear it with, Honestly, you can literally anything. wear it with anything, honestly. Like you could wear these with some like baggy jeans or something, do yeah. it look cool. So people are kind of in that just like comfy dad shoe look, which is weird because New Balances and Asics were not in like. Not even close. People hated them. So yeah, it's I guess it's kind of a cool shift. People are, a lot of people are over dunks too. So I guess we have a lot of, this, so the rest of these are just kind of retros and yeah. stuff. We got the Yeezys. People are really over Yeezys too, I feel like. Those are not selling as good as they were. Mm -hmm. Unless so, it's the black or white colorway. Unless it's just a like slide. a sim simple, yeah, Yeezy slides people will still buy, but even those are at like $100. 80, 90 bucks. So every, everything is just cheap right now, which for store owners really isn't that bad. You're not having as money, like as much money invested and you can have more inventory. So I guess it's not terrible, but also I think sales in general have just slowed down too for a lot of stores. Uh, and then we have a bunch of dunks over here. Um, like I said, I think people are kind of getting over those. Like pandas, those are actually ass. Yeah, those are terrible. Uh, but pandas are at like 90, 100 bucks yeah. too. Pandas are low. Remember when we first opened our champagne store, what we were selling 380, before? Like 380, 380 at four, least. I think I, our highest panda sale was 420 bucks. Probably, honestly. I think we had them at 420. That was, I would be sick if I bought a panda for 420 bucks and then uh, now they're at 90 bucks. So that's just a these went up a lot too, the Phantoms. Yeah, those Travis go Scott's. I mean, I kind of figured they would. It's just a super simple colorway, all black. No, I like these a lot. Yeah. You still have your pair, Tony? Mm -hmm. You didn't sell them like Drew? No. No, bro. Never. Yeah, I'll get this. Never. We uh we got we all got each other Christmas presents. Uh what was that, two years ago? Yeah, two two, two years. When the when the the year these came out, so maybe that was no last year. It had to be last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Last two Christmases two ago. Two Christmases ago, not the most recent one. We all got Christmas present for each other and we all got Travis Scott Phantoms. That was our Christmas present to at least the champagne staff. And we all got a pair and Drew, like two months later, just goes and sells his pair. Yep. I was like, bro, how are you gonna sell a Christmas present we bought you? So I thought that was kind of weird. <laughs> Drew. Drew, you're weird for that. What a weirdo, bro. So that's kind of it for this, the shoe section. Like I said, we didn't have really too much crazy crazy pairs at this store. We just kind of had like some GRs and dunks and stuff, but, and then we had all this clothing too. This is all gonna get transported over to the Champagne location. So I guess we'll kind of have like a small clothing restock. Tony said this yeah. is a lot of stuff that's been selling really good at that location. So a lot of Hellstar and Essentials. Yeah, there was, there's probably like 50 Hellstar uh, t-shirts or some Essentials t-shirts, Essentials hoodies. A couple spider hoodies, y'all are still loving these. Yeah, I don't I think, know why people are still asking for hoodies. It's warm. Nah, it's, bro, it's like 90 degrees them. outside and y'all still want hoodies. I mean, I don't know where you're wearing hoodies to, but uh, I guess y'all can still buy them. But yeah, like I said, Tony said a lot of this has been the good sellers in Champagne. So we'll be having a clothing restock. Literally, this video dropped and we'll already have it. So if you want to stop in, look at some of the newer clothing. And I mean, we're always getting new clothing and I'm pretty sure. Yeah, a lot of Hellstar tees. We've had these for a while, so. Um, yeah, Hellstar. Are babe tees still selling? Yeah. Babe yeah. tees are still selling. Hella, hella, hella babe tees coming in. There was like 60 of those, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, Tony, you kind of look good in this. I can't even lie. I think that's more your style. You're a big tie-dye guy. Don't tell me you don't love the Jordan 1 tie-dyes. <laughs> I, I did actually have a pair of those. That is terrible. You love those. But, uh, so yeah, that's basically it for the store. That's going to be our last time here. Sad day, but also a good day, like I said. So kind of, what do they call Bittersweet. Yep. Bittersweet. So uh, that'll be our last time here. So we're gonna be wrapping up this section of the video. And then actually we're gonna be going over to the warehouse. Uh, that's about like 10 minutes away. We're gonna go over there. And that is gonna be our last YouTube video in that warehouse because we're moving to the new warehouse in uh, Texas. So Tony said he wants to go over there and look at it. It is literally completely packed. We have thousands of shoes there. We have a bunch of clothing, a bunch of just random stuff. It is, it is a disaster, which we'll show you on in a second. So let's go over to the warehouse and see what we got over there. We'll see you in a second. We are back at the warehouse. We're just doing a little bit of warehouse section, kind of show you guys around a little bit. I feel like it's been on the channel, what, once or twice, Tony? I think two times. Maybe one or two times, but uh, so right now I just got back here and probably have like 15 extra large boxes we got in today. I need to inventory. So it's all a bunch of used shoes. Most of them are boxes, There's a couple no box pairs but it's all this stuff all along here kind of been backed up the last couple days just wrapping up the stuff for the store and then we've been live we had a live 
Friday, Sunday, Monday, and the post office wasn't open at all. So this whole literal open section was full of packages. So yeah, kind of been packed, but we're able to do some inventory now. Most of these are used Off-White 5, Sale colorway. They're super, super clean. Just got those in. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is weird. So I bought a Shatter Backboard 3.0 and they took the patent off. Oh, I remember when That's kind of cool. That. I don't know. I don't know if they really look better or look worse like that. I don't know what you I think, don't Tony. Know. I don't know. They look okay. It's They're all right. Fine. I don't really know. So that was the 3.0s. Patent took it off. Oh, we got the 1.0s. These bad boys are crispy. Those are clean. Tony size 11. Can you fit that, Tony? There you go. Oh, and Aiden already has a pair. I got a pair too, though, so Ooh. we're good. That's a cool box. This is another shoe. They don't go Dude. for anything, bro, but this is, I think this is a cool Those shoe. Those are so fire. I like these. Union ones, these are sitting at like 180, 170, yeah. 200, something like that. Uh, I don't know if there's really anything else in this shoe. A couple Jordan 4s, couple Air Maxes, Dunks, stuff like that. Uh, that's it for over here. This is all, most of this is no box stuff. I bought this stuff for cheap. We got like Air Mag Adapt, some Jordan 4s, Concord 11, some other stuff down there. Yeah, and then over here we bought, it's like 5,000 pieces of clothing. It was a bunch of like old rapper merch. So like there was some King Von stuff. There was some Lil Durk. There was some Rod Wave. Bro, there, there was some Polo G stuff, Lil TJ. It was all like their old tour stuff. So all the stuff they didn't sell out at their tours, it was just left over and we bought that stuff in bulk. We have a ton of it. There's some stuff over here. There's also some stuff in boxes over there. Uh, we've kind of sort of been slowly selling through it, but not really. Kind of been avoiding it, so <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then over here, this is the used, basically all the shelving is, I mean, basically all used shoes. There's a couple new pairs, but, so this is mainly the cleaning section or the stuff that needs lace, so it's not ready to sell yet. So we have some random stuff over here. I think some cooler stuff. Oh yeah, that's a cool one. Just got a, Easy, Nike Easy sitting around Platinum. <laughs> Just a Nike Easy. Just a Nike Easy, nothing too crazy, uh, you know. So this is stuff that is going to be sold in the next live. I think I got another pair over there too. It's not the sale pair, it's actually the- The white pair? The that white pair goes pair. for bread. It does. Oh. Uh, That's a banger. Got a Grateful Dead. It's a cool pair. Um, I don't know. There's an SP right there. I don't know what it is. I'm not gonna get it yeah, out. I don't think that one's anything good. But we got an Alma 3 down there. Bunch of Jordan 4s. Bunch of random stuff. I guess these are just randomly sitting here. Off-white Prestos is a bigger size, like size 11, 12 maybe. 11. Something like that. 11. So yeah, we just kind of got random shit playing everywhere. Yeah, all uh, over the place. 85 Jordan 1. Yeah. Just Chicago, <laughs> just a, just random stuff, I guess. Um, Over here, we got some SB Ray Guns. That's a cool pair. Got a pair of Travis Scott 4s. These are weird. I'm pretty sure I bought these and I didn't know it. Somebody re-dyed them. So I need to text, actually text the seller about these. But I got them in. They look good and everything. They just re-dyed like crazy. So I don't know why they did this. I don't know if they got super faded or something like sitting in some dude's collection because they're brand new. Yeah, they're just But they're, they definitely re be. I don't know. I got to hit the seller up about that one, but that's a weird one. Mm. We had like 400 pairs of these. These were brand new. I bought these in bulk for like... 400 pairs of them. I only have, I literally only have these left and then a couple down there. So maybe like 60 pairs left. So that's cool that we almost sold out of those. So all these pairs right here, these are all ready to be sold. They're all laced, clean, literally everything ready to go. Those will be live. Those will be sold on live on whatnot throughout the week. Starting next week, we're done for the week right now. But uh, these are all the no box pairs. I hate no box shoes. <laughs> They're just so hard to store and yeah, not very organized. They suck. Bro, no box shoes are terrible. I wish all shoes just came with boxes. Yeah, and most of the time if a shoe has no box, like it's a more percentage that it's gonna be beat. What do you think, Tony? 100%. Yeah. It's just a shitter if it doesn't have a box. Yeah, it's just like almost, yeah, literally a shitter if it doesn't have a box. So that's kind of that section. We got a lot of stuff over there. It, needs to, it looks like a mess in here right now. Y'all are seeing it. Literally come Monday, which is in like three days, this would all be cleaned up. Just. So I have so much stuff that needs inventory. So we're a little behind. This is gonna be the last video in this warehouse. It's been a cool, we've been we've been here for a year. Done a lot of crazy lives, sold a lot of shoes. Yeah. We had this, we had a big hole in the wall over here. I mean, yeah. we broke, we put holes in the wall. We did, we did literally everything. Yeah, I mean, we broke a lot of stuff. We had a lot of fun on all the whatnot lives. So 
I guess I'd sold thousands of thousands of shoes. So yeah, but uh, like I said, we're, we're going down to Texas. We, we're getting a warehouse basically twice as big as this because we've kind of outgrown this one. If you guys already don't, go drop us a follow on whatnot. It's actually under Stu Shoes. If you go follow us on there, we have over 100,000 followers on there. And like I said, basically we go live Monday through Friday and we sell at least 200 pairs of shoes a night. So a lot of great deals. Basically all the stuff we sell in there is used. There's a couple brand new shoes we sell, but uh, yeah, if you can get great deals, we sell sizes four all the way up to, I sold a size 18 last night. So literally every single size and you can get, we have anything from Air Maxes all the way up to off-whites and just like you saw that Nike Easy, we'll sell that too. So go drop us a follow on there. You can also uh, follow the Neighborhood Kicks 217 account on there too. Uh, the store goes live on there as well. So um, yeah, drop us a follow on both accounts. Watch us go live, get some steals, buy some personals. You can even buy shoes to resell them. So resellers, if you want to want to stop by in there, you can make some money. It's crazy this was our original store sign. I know. Uh, yeah, I don't know if some of, if the OGs know, this is our original <laughs> store sign. So, and then I put it up behind me on whatnot. We're gonna close out the video. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Drop us a follow. Uh, like I said, enter that giveaway too. We're giving away $100 if you can guess how many... How many pairs? How many pairs that we sold. So yeah, if you guess how many pairs we sold, we're doing a $100 giveaway in the comments. Go comment down below. We're gonna close out this video with the original store sign. Sad to see us go, but this is the last video from the warehouse. Thank you for watching. You guys have a great day. Peace out. We'll see you in the next video.